yeah yeah do your dance yeah so what's up what's up what's up it's me your girl Asia Danielle and I got a little food review more like a little ice cream review because y'all know <laughs> we like it sweet a little bit a little bit okay we got that Van Laroon Van Laroon Van Laroon first we got some carrot cake okay a little limoncello because we bougie like that okay and we got some blood orange chocolate chip blood <laughs> why would i say that i don't know so i'm gonna try each one of them out and i'm gonna tell you how i feel about them uh i was gonna try to ranch but when i saw it up at the walmart i was like you know what yeah no but if y'all maybe comment or something let me know if i should if i shouldn't i'll try it because uh, i don't know i'm scared y'all but if y'all want me to i will I do it for y'all. I do it for you. <laughs> but no, on a more serious note, my leave out was definitely leaving out. Y'all saw it was in the fly away. That mother said, we gon Y'all might not have saw it, but if y'all replay it back, y'all will. Y'all gonna be like, girl, but I fixed it. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, we gonna get started with the carrot cake uh, in this limited edition. But I think they all say limited edition at this point. And we gonna use a fork. Because that's what I pulled out the first at first. So we're gonna use a little bit. We're gonna get a little put a little bit of some, oh my god, did I break my spoon? Ooh, what's that? I broke my fork. Ooh. Ooh. Baby. Baby. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh my god. Bro, my fork. Girl. Girl. <laughs> What's the folks saying? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nah, for real. For real. Baby. Somebody granny made this. so good y'all gotta get that baby you gotta get that okay so the next one is the lemon cello cake okay so i watch the food network all the time and cooking shows all the time and they always make a lemon cello cake and i'm not a fan of lemon cake but i love sour stuff and i love key lime pie and stuff like that so hopefully this is really good it has like chunks of something in there too like, I don't know what it is, but it look good. Let's try it. It's definitely giving me lemon cake. I'm gonna... It's not nasty. You can taste the frosting. It's like buttercream frosting. What is this? Butter for cream? It's like... It's like... Like a buttercream frosting with like the cake and like some kind of... Mm, I don't know. It's not nasty. It's really good too. It's just not hitting for me just as much as, a car as good as a carrot cake was. But it's, th this does put me in the mindset of a, that I'm at a, like a French bakery and um, I'm going to drink some tea. I'm going to have a little limoncello cake with a nice tea, probably like a, um, maybe like a, a Earl Grey. Um, it's very good though. It's good. It's It's, it's good. If I could write this one, it'd be like a 7 out of 10. The last one was like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, this is like a 7 out of 10. It's, it's good, too. It's pretty good. Okay, so this next one, this is that um blood orange and that chocolate chip. I don't really care for chocolate chip, but I do love chocolate. And I also love blood orange. Oh, my God. So, hopefully it's a hit. Hopefully it's a hit. Blood orange is really like a... It's giving raspberry. It look like a raspberry swirly. Like, if you. Oh, no. 
It does taste like blood orange. Mm. It's definitely something that I would eat. But if you know me personally, then you know my taste buds kind of bougie. Like people say like I got like a bougie like palette. So for me, this would be really good. But for someone else who doesn't like I'm the type of person, like, I drink, like, lavender lemonade. Lavender lemonade. So, if you like something like that, you would, like, eat something like this. If your palate is on, a, like, another level. But if you don't really like more of exotic flavors, then it wouldn't be for you. It's, it's not too... It's not overpowering. You taste mostly vanilla... And then you get like a little hint of the blood orange. And then you got the chocolate chip. It's good. It's good. I would say it's like. It's like a 6.5, 7. It's between like a 6.5 and a 7.5. Like I really don't know where to rank it. It's not nasty though. And this dark chocolate, is this dark chocolate? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. See, I like dark chocolate. Like, real bitter. And that's how the the chips is kind of bitter. It's, it's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. You might like it, you might not. I don't know. Tomato, tomato, your mama's. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about y'all mama because... If y'all talk about my mama, I'm going to be ready to tussle. <laughs> you feel me? So, I'm going to just go ahead and let y'all be great. You know what? I'll take that back. About the dark chocolate, not about your mama. The dark chocolate, on the other hand, it's a little bit darker than regular dark chocolate. It's, like, super bitter. Like, the aftertaste, it gives you, like... It makes you taste like you ate something dirty. So, I'm going to take this down from a, between the 6.5 to like a to like a 4 or a 5. Because that aftertaste of them chocolate chips, ooh, huff doodle. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have said doodle because of the chocolate chip part. But, it's very much not giving what it should have gave. Um, we're going to break. We, it's enough. It's enough for me. But that carrot though, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Run it back again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's it though. So if you like it, like I said, try for yourself. Ooh, 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 she evening it up. Ooh, ooh.